Hey guys, it's Mrs. Waltz here again. I have my uh, guests today, Mr. Hovland and Kalo. They're gonna be showing you uh, some things about some tips for drawing um, using simple shapes and contour lines. So here you go. All right, well, if you don't know who I am, I'm Mr. Hovland, I'm the art teacher at Spalding Park. I was just featured in an earlier video today. But what we're gonna look at today is just kind of drawing some basic animals using either contour lines. Contour lines mean you're just kind of following the edge of something, or my personal favorite, I like to draw with simple shapes. Take simple basic shapes that we all know and love, and then we can kind of turn it into something here, okay? Kayla's gonna draw along with me here, just kind of demonstrate the different ideas. So let's grab our paper here first, Kayla. Got a piece of paper, there you go. And I got a piece of paper for myself. Let's angle this down a little bit here so we can see. Get right, all set up there. Now we got, of course, we got something that we're looking at. I do have my cats around here somewhere, but they're hiding. So we'll just use a photograph here. This is Mira. You got yours in there, Kalo? All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna look at drawing just using basic, simple shapes here. So I'm gonna break Mira down here. Turn this this way so you guys can see it better. And if we look at Mira's head, she's got a very round, fluffy head. So I'm just gonna start by drawing a circle. Everybody knows how to draw a circle. And then, got your circle. All right. And if we look at Mira's body, she's kind of got kind of an oval shape. Kind of a circle, but a little bit more squash. So kind of an oval. So we'll just kind of draw an oval like that. Okay. And again, I'm using a Sharpie so that it shows up better. I recommend that you guys use a pencil. It just doesn't show up very well on the video if I use a pencil. All right. Now, next thing we want to look at is just kind of look at some of the details around the cat. And if First thing I notice, I notice her ears up here, and they're just kind of like little triangles. So I'll draw a triangle there, a little triangle right there, okay? And she's got a big fluffy tail that's kind of like a rectangle, kind of going off like that. And then I can see the two legs up in front here, and the first shape that I see what comes to my mind is kind of a rectangle and a rectangle. And then another little rectangle over here. And if I look at her paws, they're kind of like an oval down here. So I'm just gonna draw a little oval, another little oval like that. There we go. Okay, kind of getting the basic outline here. You can kind of tell that it's a cat. Still missing some details, so we're gonna kind of look at the inside. So we're gonna look at Mira's eyes and they're kind of like circles. We're gonna make them kind of, we all call Mira big eyes in this house because she's got dark black eyes that just kind of stare up from everywhere. So we're just gonna kind of exaggerate her eyes and make them nice black eyes. She's got a little tiny nose. And then her little uh, mouth right there, okay? Now again, got the simple basic shapes, triangles, circles, ovals, rectangles, ovals, okay? What I wanna do now is I'm just gonna start adding kind of like the texture details, details and stuff like that. Yep, so she's kind of a fluffy furry cat. So let's make mirror fluffy. So we'll kind of do some texture stuff on the outside. And again, if you use pencil first, you can kind of do some erasing. I, regrettably, I don't have a pencil to do this. So I'm just gonna kind of add that. She's got, I think in this picture we didn't comb her, so she's kind of shaggy all over the place there. Kind of like that. And then her tail, big fluff ball tail like that. So just kind of some zigzag lines. All right there. And then her little paws, she's got little paws like that, little C shapes in there. And then her arms, just kind of little shaky, shaky little lines like that. And then I can go back in and add further details if I wanted to. She's got little hair sticking out right there. Just kind of maybe a little bit more shaky like that. Little fluffy cat, how's yours coming out? In the mouth there. I changed. There we go. You see it? Good. All right. So that was just drawing with, again, simple shapes right there. Next way we're going to do it. I'm not very good at this way, but Kayla's really good at this. We're going to practice what we call contour lines. And contour lines is when you kind of look at the outside edge sketch. of it. Yeah, sketch. And you can kind of draw really quickly the outside lines of the animal. So get some new paper. You got new paper there? No. Now, bear with me. I'm not very good at this. This is what Kalo's kind of good at. 
said, I like doing simple shapes, but whatever makes you happy, whatever wait, you're wait. good at. Let's get Mirror back up there. You Can ready? Tater. Hmm? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna find Tater. Tater's over there. Yeah, we don't got a picture of him though, do we? Oh, I guess we're getting Tater. Tater's our other cat. He still hides. There's Tater. All right, so getting our picture, our example. Again, you can use real objects. You can have photographs, look in magazines, look in books, and just kind of look at the lines. So this time, we're doing contour lines or kind of going around the outside edges here. So I'm gonna start, find a place that you think is a good place to start. I'm gonna kind of maybe start on top of the hair. I'm drawing upside down too, Kayla. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this here. So he's got a little bit of an ear that goes like that. I'm not drawing upside you're not, down. You're not drawing upside down? Yeah. Well, I've been kind of cheating. Oh, you've been cheating. Time. All right, so I'm gonna draw the side here. He's got fluffy cheeks there. And again, I'm just kind of following the edge of Tater here. And then looks like it kind of comes back under here. Fluffy. Fluffy lines. Go back over here where this ear is. Again, pencil, I recommend pencils. That way you can erase. Okay, so there's kind of Tater's head there, outline of his head. And I'm gonna draw kind of the back of him here. Now you don't see the whole picture of Tater here, so I'm just gonna kind of draw his body like that. And then I'm gonna jump onto the inside here. Kind of draw little yes, triangle shape big there. Eyes. Big eyes. Yeah, he does have big eyes, doesn't he? Yeah. So they're kind of going back to those shapes then. Kind of following the lines like that. And kind of that shape, like that kind of a, what do you call that shape? Kind of a football shape? Yeah, football shape. Oval. Well, they kind of pointy at the With top though. pointy. Okay. At the end. Sure. And he's got his mouth there. And then... What we can do next is just kind of go in, draw some of those details. He's got whiskers. He's got some design, kind of little patterns like that. And what else can we do here? Maybe some details in there. And maybe he can go, oh, yeah, he's got these hairs that come out of his ear. Like that. No, on top of his And top of his head, too. Yeah, he's kind of fluff, fluff ball. Maybe we'll it have to find like a, a we'll have to get Tater and do a little cameo later on here. And Mira. Yeah, and Mira, yep. Oh, he's got big fluffy cheeks down there. Okay. So, as you can see, this was kind of contour drawing, just kind of following the shapes. Okay. Here's one I did earlier with Mira. Just kind of following the lines of Mira. You can kind of see where I started out in pencil. So maybe it does show up pretty good. You can kind of see where we can kind of follow on the edges of the lines that we see. I'm just gonna go back in and trace it with my marker just so you can kind of see it better. Basically, this was the start of it. Just a top of the oval triangle. And there I got little mirror drawn using the contour lines here, okay? So just to review different ways that we can draw, we've got simple shapes, breaking down whatever the object is into simple shapes, like I see circles, I see ovals, I see triangles, or contour lines where you're kind of doing quick sketching lines following the edge of whatever is that you're, you're, you're making a drawing of, okay? Kalo has a couple pictures she's been working on that she would like to share. Do you wanna share some of your pictures? Yeah. All right, let's see what you got here. She's been doing all sorts of drawing. This is a little drawing that she made of, uh, is this Tater? No, or is this, I just, just draw picture? random pictures. You just drawing random pictures? Yeah. Well, that's okay to do, too. What's that one there? You got this one. Ooh, I remember. Wild colors. Oh, so you drew a tiger there and using lots of bright wild colors there. I love your birds that you've been working on. I love all these colors. So again, she's been doing all these little bird drawings and then using lots of bright colors. And then and stuff like to add some designs. landscapes with birds. And and she's stuff. Doing a, so I here she's birds drawing landscapes with simple shapes, big circles, kind of doing the contour lines with the waves and everything. Okay, got any other ones you wanna share? 
I copied. <laughs> well, you copied. Oh, see, look at that. She was doing one earlier. She was kind of following along with me. Okay. Oh, here's a good example of just using simple shapes, breaking down. Is this a, what is this a fox? Yeah. So she broke down the fox with triangles, rectangles, rectangles. Simple lines. Simple lines. Good. Imaginary animals and sketches. So you can do imaginary animals. I think we're going to do a video later on where we can combine different parts of animals. Like This the, is a griffin. A griffin, yes, the griffin. So we can kind of make some imaginary animals. Again, she's just looking at some pictures, drawing some animals like that. All right, here's another bird that she was doing. Using Without just sketches. real simple shapes, broke it down into a big oval, kind of add some stuff like that. So, I hope that you enjoyed this. Like I said, these are just some basic drawing ideas to get you started. Do um, you have anything you want to say, Kalo? Practice. Practice, yeah, practice, practice. practice. You've been practicing quite a bit, haven't you? Yeah. yeah it's draw. like basketball Every and football. Day. you got to practice. Practice, practice, practice. I hope to see you guys some other time. I'll turn it back over to Mrs. Welts here. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you two for being our guest today. And uh, keep looking on the channel. We'll be sure to keep uh, updated videos. I think I'm going to do some cardboard sculpture next. So stay tuned. Bye. See you later.